Oh, well, welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast show. It's Espresso. And you know what? It's been a beautiful morning learning and delving into the beautiful cultures that Nigeria has to offer. And there's something so distinctive about traditional African clothing and the bright patterns, the structured silhouettes, and the intricate embroidery of traditional Nigerian attire is always striking to the eye. Now, joining us to share more about the traditional Nigerian clothing and do show us some of her fashion, it is the owner of Ifri's African Fashion. Ifri, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good, thank you. You know what? I'm looking at you and you're looking exquisite. Yay, thank I'm assuming you. this is one of the outfits you've made. Yes, <gasps> it is. Look at that. Wow. Is that thank typical? You. The the embroidery, the 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 shimmer that's coming through. Yeah, the the, the the lace. This is actually a lace fabric. Okay. Yes, it's a Nigerian fabric as well. A lot of Nigeria cultures have different customs. They have different culture. They have different way of doing their things and different way of dressing as well. So, but this particular one is generally used by all, all the cultures, all the all the tribes in Nigeria. But it's usually used to go to occasions, weddings, and you know. Amazing. Yeah. I would want to go to a wedding looking like you, if you look absolutely stunning. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to talk about the prints and just the designs. What uh, differentiates a Nigerian print or the design or just the embroidery from any other country? You know, Nigeria is a beautiful country. Mm. It has a lot of beautiful colors. They actually deals with beautiful and unique attires. I have some designs here that actually represent what Nigeria looks like. You can see this is, this is called Agbada. You can see the embroidery, so beautiful. Stand okay. So beautiful. So who would wear this? This is for the men. Okay. So this is a mane, it's a long, you can throw it on top, it's like a long rope, yeah? It's like three sets in, in one. You have the pants, this is the inner one, and this one you throw it on top. On top. Oh, yeah. Wow. Then with a cap going with it. Then they have the hats that really complement the beauty and the, the fashion. I'm looking behind you, we've got a couple of hats there. Does each, is, hat, mm, is the hat yes. just in terms of the texture, does it mean something or is it just a fashion? Statement. Yeah, yeah, actually, it actually means something. You know, Nigeria has a basic, the, the, the actually the recognized culture, the, the tribe there is called the Yoruba. They have the Yoruba, the Igbos, and the Aosas. So the Igbos usually put on this cap. It actually means something. You know, the Igbos, like, they are the brave ones. They, they have this attire they call the Isiago, the lion head. Okay. So it's a, actually, it represents their culture. So when they put on the lion head top, then it goes with this hat. Okay. Yeah, so most especially is those that have a title that put on the red one. But this one is also worn by Igbos and other tribes, but it doesn't actually represent like somebody who took a title. So it's only a title man in Nigeria that can, in Igbo land, that can actually wear the red one. Yeah, and as well as this one as well. So is, is it the color red that, that, that is, is assigned to the person that has a title? Perfectly. What happens when someone like just decides to wear red or is that not possible? Yeah, actually people do wear, you know, you can't actually stop people from doing what they want. <laughs> <laughs> but in Nigerian culture, once they caught you putting on a red hat, they'll find you for it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. In Igbo land. But here in South Africa, a lot of them put it there, they go to wedding, they go to occasion with it. But in our land, once you're caught wearing it, you will be fine for it. Okay. If you're speaking about an occasion, uh, if Zoe and I or anyone was supposed to, were going to a wedding, what would be the attire? Um, how would you, you know, get dressed up for this occasion? Oh, a wedding occasion, a Nigeria traditional wedding. You can actually wear an African attire. You know, Nigeria has a lot of beautiful fabric, work on rich African fabric. The, for the ladies, we have something like the blouses, Let's have a look at that. Yes. Have a look. that is this is actually a beautiful style. <gasps> so it's a top. It goes with a skirt. It's such heavy fabric. It's beautiful. So beautiful. So it has a skirt on it and a wrapper to tie around the waist as well. So you can usually use this for a wedding. So I'm actually make a dress just like what I'm wearing. You can actually wear that to a wedding as well. You can even, even this one is more formal. You can wear with a black trouser, with a black 
inner inside and you actually look good and you, you are good to go as well. Amazing. Then for the men, for the men, you can actually wear wow. this nice embroidered for the men. Mm -hmm. So you can wear this with a trouser to go with it. Or you have a wabada, as I said rightly, or this top. Amazing. Or even an African print with a nice jean paint to go with it. So actually you are good to go to go Anything for a wedding. Goes. Anything goes. And how do the kids dress in Nigeria? Like, if, do they have traditional clothing that parents dress them in? Yeah, the kids, they also have their own, but with design with African print as well. Okay. But with a nice style to complement their look as well. Now, so this is your son, son yes. right? Yes. Oh, look at this. Mm. This is absolutely stunning. Take us through this piece mm. that I'm sure you've created as well. Yes, I Beautiful. Do as well. Yes, so as you can see, it's a two-piece designed with African print. So this African print actually signifies that he's an, a traditional attire that can be worn in any kind of occasion. So for a little girl as well, the same thing can apply as well. I love how playful the pattern is. I mean, I'm seeing a little tortoise, I'm yes. seeing some different animals. Yes. Beautiful. Yes. Yes. Oh, well, Ifi, thank you so much for joining us thank and just you very opening much. our eyes to the world of fashion, Nigerian fashion. Mm. And like, I mean, I feel like I just want to go to a wedding and wear these beautiful outfits. Oh, absolutely. And I hope this has inspired you to go out there <laughs> and be bold and playful with all the outfits that is inspired by Nigeria. Uh, you're on your Feel Good Breakfast Show.